On April 16th, Loyola Blakefield, hosting McDonough, delivered a typical physical lacrosse game. But late in the first quarter, typical turned to terror. A routine shot from a McDonough player struck Loyola freshman defenseman Peter Lake directly in the chest. I remember getting hit, and then I remember look, looking to like where the ball was at the moment, because the ball had like bounced right back into a stick, and he passed it somewhere. So I remember looking for the ball, and then I just remember kind of getting very dizzy and blacking out. So, and then I remember waking up. Loyola trainer Jeremy Parr was among the first to respond. And when I came up to him, I tried to determine his alertness and awareness and, and level of consciousness. And he wasn't responding to anything that I was asking for. Um, he didn't appear to be breathing on his own. It was kind of more of like a gasping reflex and then I couldn't find a pulse. We were terrified. Yeah, I think all of us were terrified, like from the sideline to the guys next to him, to we the attack man, everybody yeah. was really scared in that moment. Yeah. So I just kept thinking, he'll be fine. And then, you know, 10 seconds later, I was in a complete frenzy that, you know, he's, he's not gonna make it. Fortunately, there was an action plan in place. Chest compressions from the on-site doctors, followed by the use of an automated external defibrillator. The AED shocked Peter's heart, like hitting the reset button, and that brought him back to life. I, I heard voices for a couple seconds, and my eyes wouldn't open for a couple seconds. So, and But when my eyes did open, I remember seeing about seven to eight people just in a circle around me. So pretty crazy. It's a perfect storm for it to happen. It was a, 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 a perfect response from everyone and, and a, just a, a great group effort to get to, to have Peter come back. Heroic action without hesitation right here saved Peter Lake's life. But why did this happen? Was it the power, the speed of the shot? Actually, no. Instead, it's a very rare cardiac emergency called commotio cordis. But it is a odd uh, situation in which there is a compression to the chest at a very particular point in the heart cycle that causes the heart to go into VTAC. That's ventricular tachycardia, an irregular heart rhythm. Oh, it is infrequent, but as we were talking about, catastrophic. Infrequent, but without expert medical personnel and the AED device at the ready, likely fatal. Fortunately, preventative help is on the way. January 1, 2022, this chest protector that will prevent commotio cordis becomes mandatory. Goalies are already required to wear the approved gear, and next year, all boys must wear the approved chest protector. USA Lacrosse took the lead on promoting awareness to get this done. Just so thankful that we have this positive story with Peter and his family so we can talk about you know, what really needs to be in place and where you can go to get resources and help so that you, you can make the experience fun and safe for as many kids as possible. A happy ending that won't go to waste. I'm definitely wearing it now. I'm definitely protecting myself. So nope. it's not something that you want to go through. And it's, now that's happened to me, I just don't want it, anybody else to have the same experience. I want to thank the Lake family, Loyola Blakefield, and USA Lacrosse for sharing this story, for letting people what they need to know how to deal with commotio cordis. And for more information on youth safety with lacrosse in general, log on to our website, WBALTV.com. Live at Loyola Blakefield, Pete Gilbert, WBAL, TV 11 Sports.